Hey everybody, it's Seriously Sydney's, or also known as Sid the Illustrator, and today I am doing out a sketch, drawing out a sketch for this oil painting that I want to do. So I'm using the Pentel oil pastels because I found out due to different research and listening to different people who actually normally oil paint that pencil will show through the oil painting. So I didn't want that to happen and that's why I'm using these oil pastels. So the idea of this painting is I wanted to try experimenting with a different medium that, and I thought that maybe if I did this it would help um, like advance my creative process and stuff for when I do more watercolor pieces or other illustrations. Because when you learn new techniques it affects different things and you start thinking about the process differently and all and I thought it might be fun. So here I am just going to sketch this thing out. Um, this is actually a frog and the idea is for it to be running from some flowers. So these flowers are going to be like evil flowers chasing it. They're going to have eyes, the snake tongues. Um, so they're going to be very much like a cartoon character type thing. And this pose the frog is in is supposed to emulate him running as if he were running on two feet. Also, it's kind of like if you've ever watched any spy type movies, it's like that, that um, pose that they have as they're jumping off of some building or something that's exploding in the background as they're running away from it. So that is kind of the idea behind the pose. And I wanted the frog to be differentiated from the background, which is going to be kind of dark green and foresty. So I have some, I want it to be kind of very bright green. And I also have the orange and there's going to be some like bright blue in it to help differentiate it so it stands out and it's noticeable as the main character in this whole thing. One thing I did have a little bit of a difficulty was differentiating the like upper part of the face from the lower part of the face, so like the chin and neck I guess you would call it. So I had to come up with a unique way of doing that. In this case I'm using pinks and stuff to differentiate it. So yeah. And then his eyes are going to be red, which will really stand out from the green background. So that'll be good. And the different blues would help as well. Okay, so I'm going in with this really bright red for the eyes. I'm trying to get the angle of the eyes to look like because I know frogs can move their eyes in different ways than people can, so I wanted to kind of capture that and also make it look like he's aware that he's being chased. I don't know if I ended up capturing it so far in this. I might have both the eyes facing um, forward a little bit more instead of to the side, like that one is. We shall see. See here, another thing I'm trying to figure out, even while doing the painting part of this, is the ground. So the foreground, I think I'm going to have it kind of more textured, and I was thinking maybe having it like a log or something, but I don't know if that quite works because the flowers chase him. And here I'm drawing the flowers. I had to look up and figure out which flowers I want to draw. So. I'm not actually drawing a certain type of flower, I am just kind of, it's a mix I guess between like a, hmm, what are those, those flowers you get during Christmas time, the red ones? Uh, it's in my mind, it's a mix between like those, but not those because they're obviously not red, and some sort of tropical flower because for the eyes I wanted to have that. Wow, okay, terminology. Anyway, so I'm using long, we'll call them stems for the eyes. 
want to have those so it's a mix between a couple different types of flowers and it's there have the snake tongue and I think I'm gonna do one yellow and one like a peachy pink color and you guys have made it nearly to the end of this video so maybe let's see here let's have the special word for the comment section be frog because that is super creative for this video <laughs> anyway if you guys liked this video and want to see more like this or even want to see the next step to this video um, next piece I guess you could call it don't forget to like comment subscribe and turn on notifications and I will see you guys next time until then have an artastic week Thank you.